Hey YouTube, it's Jen. Long time no see. Hello. I hope you guys all had a great holiday season. It's December 30th, so New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Very excited about that. So sorry about the delay in videos. It's just right now, honestly, it's not my top priority. I have so much stuff going on in my life right now. I have um, a wedding in, in three months. I have a full-time job. And plus just the craziness of the holidays really didn't allow much time for anything. So um, I'm going to do a huge product empties video. I saved all of them up. This is from I think three or four months worth of, of me using up products like I normally do. So I have a ton of stuff to show you. I will go ahead and get started. I'll start off with anti-back. I used up a bunch of soaps. I used up Scarlet Pumpkin from the Fresh Picked line. If you guys haven't tried Scarlet Pumpkin, you are missing out. This stuff is so good. It's just like a really nice, um, rich pumpkin pie filling scent. I also have New England Autumn Bouquet, which is another fall soap. And this one smelled really good. It almost kind of smelled, reminded me of like a potpourri type scent. It was really nice and kind of perfect for that transition from summer to fall. Really enjoyed that. I also used up a uh, Heartland Harvest Marmalade, and I love when they include old Bath & Body Works throwbacks in their new products, like the whole little Heartland reference there. That takes you back to the 90s, back when I started shopping at Bath & Body Works. And this just smelled just like marmalade. It smelled divine. I really loved it. Nice and sweet and fruity. And you could definitely, if you still have some of this, you could use this in the warmer months too. I also have Aspen Autumn Day, which smelled amazing, but I think this would do better in a home fragrance form versus a soap. This smelled just like a cold, crisp autumn day outside. You could smell um, the cold air, the, the twigs, the leaves. It smelled really good, but it's something I would prefer in my home versus on my hands. I finished up a fresh picked heirloom cranberries foaming hand soap. I love heirloom cranberries. It smells just like a nice spicy cranberry scent. <laughs> it's really good. And then last but not least, I used up a couple favorites. I have my fresh picked pears foaming hand soap. This stuff is amazing. It's one of Jeremy's favorites. It smells just like regular pears. It's just a great go-to scent. And then I used up Black Cherry Merlot, and I absolutely love this fragrance. This is definitely one of my favorites. So that's all the soap I used up. Now on to body care. I used up a ton of shower gel. I don't know why I go through shower gel so fast. I mean, I shower every day, um, but for some reason that just always goes. I used up a Wild Berry Tulips from the Wild Garden collection, and I like the scent a lot, but it's not something that, you know, really stands out to me. I think I just got this when it was 75% off or something like that, but it does smell really nice, a nice sweet berry scent. I used up a Dancing Waters shower gel, and I love Dancing Waters. It's so simple and clean, but it still has some sort of uniqueness to it um, that just screams Bath and Body Works. It just reminds me of the good old days a little bit. I used up another oldie but goodie. This is from the Aerobotherapy line. It is the Sleep Detoxify Black Chamomile. They brought this scent back for the semi-annual sale, was it last year? I think, and it just smells great. This is a great unisex fragrance. I feel like both men and women can enjoy this. Um, it's just very clean and has a little bit of earthiness to it. It's just, it's a really wonderful scent. I also used up another aromatherapy. This is the Sleep Lavender Vanilla Body Wash and Foam Bath, and this one got kind of gross in the shower. I think something exploded on it, but I love the scent. It's very calming, and I really like the formulation of the aromatherapy shower gels. I feel like those are the best in terms of bubbles. You can definitely double those up as a bubble bath. They are just really good. I also used up a Sun Ripened Raspberry Shower Gel from the Classics line. I love Sun Ripened Raspberry. It's something I wore back when they had it in their core line. Um, so it kind of just takes me back to um, when I was younger. But I don't usually wear the lotion or, or spray because it's something that still kind of reminds me of being a kid. So I just use a shower gel for the fun, nostalgic throwback. Not the biggest fan of the classic formulation of the shower gel. I feel like I have to use more of it to get the same lather. But it's worth it sometimes just to, to have that nice little nostalgia there. I used up something from Victoria's Secret. This is the Sheer Love Forbidden Creamy Body Wash, and this stuff was great. Um, really moisturizing product. I really liked how it foamed up, and I felt like I didn't need much moisture after the shower. And what was really nice about this product is the scent stayed on my skin. 
like I had to be careful of what I put on afterwards because it would mix with the shower gel so I had to definitely pick out a complimentary scent. Most shower gels the smell does not stay on my skin. Um, this one it definitely did and I really liked it. They don't make this anymore. This was something I picked up um, like for 75% off at the sale. That's usually how my Victoria's Secret purchases go. It's usually things like this that aren't available anymore. And then I also used up a little um, bath gel from my, I guess it was a gift set I got a couple Christmases ago. This was the Enchanted Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I got a little gift set with the perfume, the lotion, and the bath gel. I used up the bath gel. I'm not ever really the biggest fan of the formulation of the gift set, so the lotions or the shower gels for perfumes. They usually aren't the best quality, but the scent's always really strong, so I liked this in terms of layering, but I felt like I definitely had to use more of it to get a good lather. I also used up two full-size Paris More lotions. I love this scent. This is just one of my all-time favorites. I feel like this, when you layer it with um, the spray or the EDT, it really stands out and it lasts all day. This is just a really wonderful scent. I do have a review of it. You can check out my videos to to see it, but I it's just one of my all-time favorite scents. I used up a fragrance mist, which I definitely go through a lot slower than anything else, so I'm happy I used one up. And then I also used up a travel size lotion from the Halloween collection. This is Sinful Vanilla. It's not the biggest fan of this. It smelled a little plasticky to me. I remember when it first came out, it reminded me of Rice Krispie Treats a little bit, but now it was just kind of a, a plasticky vanilla. And last but not least, in body care, I used up a Wicked Spice Pumpkin from that same Halloween line. I love this fragrance. This smelled like a really yummy, sweet pumpkin scent on my skin mixed with vanilla. It was to die for. It smelled really good. It had just a hint of spice, so it was perfect for fall. And last but not least, I'll show you the candles I used up. I used up a bunch of the little mini candles. I love the mini candles for use in my bathroom. It just adds the perfect amount of scent. So I used up a ton of them. I used up Cider Lane. I used a farm stand apple, smells just like a ripe red apple. I used up the French inspired bakery line back when the whole Paris line was a rage. I used up French baguette and the sweet macaron. Both of these I was not the biggest fan of, but then again, I'm not the biggest fan of bakery scents, so I'm a little biased there. I did like Cafe LA though, surprisingly. I think that this one was really good. I it was a really nice, creamy, comforting scent. So that, that one was a really good one. So I used up a peach bellini. Can't go wrong with peach bellini. It's just a nice, sweet, juicy peach scent. Now on to the main guys of Three Wicks. I used up a lot of Three Wicks. I did a Leaves from the White Barn line. This burned great all the way down. Leaves is a staple in my home. I used up a Cranberry Cider, which was good until about the end. As you can see, I definitely could have burned more, but it won't burn anymore. Um, this smelled really good. This was from a couple years ago. Just a really nice spicy cranberry scent. I used a Winter Cabin. Um, this one, when it first came out, I didn't like it, but now I think it just smells like a sexy man. I did a Frosted Cranberry, which burned perfectly. I had no problems with this. Um, this is just a really nice sweet cranberry scent. I used up a Gelato, which smells awesome. I love Gelato. This is just a really nice sweet candy-like scent. Really great from the Italian line. An espresso bar, which this burned like a champ and it was so strong. This smelled like freshly pulled espresso shots with just a hint of chocolate. A pumpkin cupcake. This is from the original release. I love pumpkin cupcake. It just smelled so yummy that I could have burned it forever, but this one burned really well all the way down. Did a caramel apple, another fall favorite for me. I burned a homemade cookies. This is another old favorite. This smells just like a really nice yummy vanilla scent. I burned through evergreen during Christmas time. I love evergreen. It just smells a wonderful, like a wonderful tree scent. I use this because I have a fake tree, so this kind of helps make it seem a little bit real. I used a pumpkin apple in the fall. I love pumpkin apple. It was a really simple scent. It just smelled like pumpkin and apple. And last but not least, kind of an oldie that I had a hard time using up but in my shelf for a couple of years now. I have to just use it up. And this was the vanilla cinnamon from the Aromatherapy Sleep Line. I love this scent. It's so simple and unobtrusive. And this burned great. It had a wonderful, nice, pleasant scent throw. I'm really sad they didn't continue this with the nighttime tea. I know nighttime tea is currently available, but they never brought back vanilla cinnamon. So that was my huge empties video. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you guys all have a very safe and happy new year, and I will see you all in 2014. Bye, everyone.